I knew it, MSF, and I respected MSF. Uh, I don't know when I learned what MSF is doing in the world, but when was it? But I, I knew MSF at least for at least 20 years, and I respected what are they doing a lot. So I didn't hesitate a moment to, to do this. I, I wanted to do something for good for MSF. We went to Tekarani, that was a two and a half hour uh, ride <laughs> on a really bumpy street. And uh, there, there is a clinic, more uh, something between, I think bigger than a clinic and mm -hmm. smaller than a hospital, something mm -hmm. in between, I would say, mm -hmm. with, with one doctor and three local uh, nurses. So we had the chance to meet two clients, two pregnant uh, women, uh, uh, HIV positive. So, uh, and we had to liberally ask uh, any question. That was that was very good. They were not. Uh, they, they opened up themselves really. Whether I always had the idea to be a writer. Like I was born with this idea. <laughs> Even before I started reading and writing, I, I, I thought one day I'm going to be a writer. If I came to Malawi with my own resources, I would never have had the chance to, to see, to meet that much people, to see the in, inside of a hospital, to meet with clients, or to hire a guy to, who takes me to, to anywhere I wanted to. It was, it was very interesting to me, extremely interesting very fruitful, and I am really happy to be here. Zikomo MSF for sending me here, and uh, Zikomo, all the MSF people here in Tiolo and in Blantyre. Uh, Zikomo means thank you. <laughs>